Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Black and Crew Chicago. This is season four, um, episode seven. I'm tired. It's 3 40 in the morning. No, 3 50 a.m. This is my last review for the night. Anyway, if you have not done so already, Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and then after you do that, okay, make sure to hit the notification bell. It lets you know when I have new videos. Anyway, so the episode starts off with no one giving a flying fuck that Lil Charmaine got the LLC to the name of the shop. This is what kind of makes me be confused. The lease to the shop has nothing to do with the name of the shop. The lease is in the individual's name. If Lil Charmaine went and got, you know, paperwork for an LLC for these hoes ain't loyal ink, um, I don't think that matters based on the building they're in. If, you know what I'm saying, Lil Charmaine would've came, on, came in saying, I bought the LLC for these hoes ain't loyal ink, I would've been like, well bitch, you're on the building. Keep that name. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be called Ink Ink. And that's it. Okay. Go on about the business. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead on. We'll, you, that's your name? Go get some tattoo artists. Because again, she said that she's the only person listed. Well, then we don't have to be included with you. Like, bye, bitch. But anyway. So, Forrest saying how, you know, if Charmaine wants living on, I'm going to leave too. <laughs> Literally like, I ain't going nowhere. What's she going to do? Drag me out? No, she's not going to do that. Don say, I don't think Charmaine should go anywhere near Lily. She should not because Lily tag her ass each and every time. Now, I've seen the comments, Lily is crazy. You should never resort to violence. You know, violence, violence is never the answer. It is the answer. Violence is never the answer unless you're defending yourself. However, you also can't be up in somebody's face when you know they're a popper. You have people who are just fighters. I call them poppers. Meaning, if you get too close to Tammy Roman, she's going to pop you. If you get too close to Evelyn Lazada, Evelyn, Evelyn Lazada, she's going to pop you. If you get too close to Jay Lee, she's going to pop you. Okay? If we are in a confrontation and you up in my space, I'm probably going to pop you. If you get up in Lily's face, she gonna pop you. She's a goddamn popper. It doesn't make it right. But some people, you just can't be up in that personal space because it's a threat. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a threat. They're like, okay, I need to pop you before you pop me. That's how we was raised here. I will pop you before you pop me. If you come into my space, you're trying to get close enough to swing on me. That's my opinion. And if you hostile, I'm gonna pop you before you pop me. That's just life lessons. Anyway. So, we do see him saying fake Charmaine come in like, you know what I'm saying? I got some rules with me being the HBIC. First of all, you're not the HBIC, okay? At all, on no level. She says these are my line, these are my rules. Um, all clients will come, will pay at the front desk. I said, bitch, what front desk? Ain't no front desk, bitch. It's a table that y'all eat lunch at. Ain't no front desk, bitch. Where's that? She then says all bo their booth rent will be half of each of their tattoos. Bitch, what? When she said that, even I said, you sound stupid. Um, booth rent is like a regular amount that that person pays per per like per like month for renting a chair or renting a, renting a, yeah, renting a chair. That ain't never been half of every tattoo ever. I'm like, what? So Lily and them do something like that's how much newcomer like newbies have to do stuff when they go to like a new they go to a tattoo shop and they brand new they might charge them like that we not new this shop may be new bitch but we are seasoned artists and that ain't you know that ain't happening here so excuse me um and they all van excuse me van for lily reese all like Bitch, you crazy. Okay, what I'm saying? Because guess what? These hoes ain't loyal ink. It's going to be without some goddamn tattoo artists. Um, 
we then see when Lily has like it's like okay those are rules that y'all say bitch fuck you ain't thinking about you um we then like later on their clients come in or whatever and Lily client Charmaine like you know what I'm saying okay where's your, your debit card so I can charge your card she's like what and she says no he paying me cash she said okay well give me your cash she said oh no bitch you not give my clients money no I'm gonna walk my client outside I'm gonna get paid I'll holler at you later she come back in like bitch you not getting half of my money that I, that I get paid for my tattoos that ain't happening so the way tattoo artists are paid is they get paid daily based on the tattoos they do or they might they either have to pay their booth rent weekly or monthly but no one is is paying half of each tattoo that ain't how it go Charmaine dumb and she probably just, she probably just did google some she probably just did google some stuff and went off that so um I, I'm with them you ain't get half my shit I, I can't do it that not at all um it's just stupid. Van is like, you know, this is some bullshit. I can't believe she would do this like that. Like, you know, she basically being Ryan times ten. Um, trying to be bossy for no goddamn reason. And I think she's being stupid. Like, you're you're a joke. I'm not a joke. You just childish and you we said childish and something else. Um, I can't think of the words you use. Van got pissed. You know, Van is oh my god, I'm mad, man. So Van got his little, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh mode. He the goddamn table. I'm like, he gonna get enough of strange shit when he got on probation. Don't do it. So the next day, Lily and Reese to say, you know what we gonna do? Since she wants to make us be like corporate, to where you know we get paid every two weeks. We don't. You know, she want to make it as if we have these office hours. We gonna strike because in regular office or regular workplaces, people strike. So me, we gonna strike. And I'm like, okay, if you say so. So we do see you know back in line mag. Uh, Ryan and Junior back together, whatever. He like, yeah, Junior was mad or whatever. He was pissed, but he got over it. He wasn't have to because he worked here. I said, you know what? That's a good, <laughs> that's a good attitude to have. You know what I'm saying? It's a thing of, <sighs> you can be able to get, be pissed off at me and yelling for us to fight for for one day, but you work here. Like, I know you're a little bit mad, but you work here. Let's just, let's, 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 keep, let's keep doing this thing. I like that. Um, I also like seeing him and Junior together. I want them to add Cobra to the mix. Um, and four to the mix. But I think if they leave Lily and Van at These Hoes Ain't Loyal, Inc., um, it's going to blow even worse than what it already is. Anyway, um, we do see also who pulls up the, 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 the assistant girl Bella put up because it's like some graffiti on the window. So they're making Bella clean it up while they're just chit chatting or whatever. So, you know, they, they kind of get to the conversation of Ryan dating Rachel for so long and they've been together for like, they've known each other for 15 years, been dating, you know, off and off at a time. You know, why haven't you proposed yet? And he's like, well, you know, there's some things going on, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to be, kind of work on some stuff. You know, I'm trying to make her, I'm trying to build up the trust again that she had in me, you know what I'm saying? But due to trust issues and cheating, they work on some things. I don't like when people want to rush people to be married. We, they was, he was just cheating last season. And even though that was something small, at the same time, let them be okay with their pace. If Rachel ain't bugging him about marrying her, nobody else should be either. Okay, if Rachel happy, we shouldn't get no fucks. Okay, I'm saying if they together, we shouldn't get no fucks. Anyway, but he said, like, you know, I'm continuing to prove to her that I'm worth her respect. Now, that I deserve her trust. And I'm also working on myself. But trust and believe a ring is coming. I think Rachel and Ryan will be engaged within the next two to three years. I do, if not married within that time. Simply because it's a difference between dating somebody and you don't know where it's going and being with someone that you know you're going to marry. Like, the question isn't even if I'm going to propose to her. It's just when and she's okay with me not doing it right now because we've already had the, con the conversation that we're going to be together until whenever, okay? Just until whenever. When is it whenever? Forever? Forever, ever, forever, ever. And I thought that was cute. Um, Van is all in his feelings, okay? His, he said his brother called him and said he saw uh, Jen at a club, you know, or in a bar with some dude. She cheated on you, bruh. Van got he, Van got so deep with his feelings, he almost drowned. I'm like, bruh, you can't even swim in that damn that deep as water. So, 
she was love my life. I can't believe this. And she was already caught before, you know, messing with somebody else or whatever. She was in love my life for eight years. Eight years. I say, Van, Van really be forgetting the bullshit he put Jen through when we first met Jen. When he was telling Jen how he wanted to be like a threesome family. He was on some bullshit. Let's just say that. He was on some bullshit. So my thing is, he be trying to make it seem as if Jen is out here. Jen. Jen out here just fucking off and fucking people or whatever. Bruh, calm the fuck down. So, he got her house. When he went to her house and sat on the side, I said, is, is, she, is it a crack house? I really wondered. Then I realized, no, the house next door, windows are just like boarded up. I would have been like, bruh, why are you coming to my house and saying like, my house ain't filled. Like, I don't want you on my porch because the house is uh, uh, next to my house ain't too nice like this no i'll meet you at the corner store in the parking lot okay we don't see no houses anyway she come outside and i can't believe you jen ain't no joke okay because she's <laughs> she's telling she like what's the problem i don't know why you mad over a motherfucking rumor from a drunk person and i'm like that's true he like but you was out there she's like but did you see it did you see it i said she Jen began buck like she don't play and then she bucking back him like you know you up here trying to rah 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 me and that ain't really going on um you questioned me about something that a drunk person told you that they that they 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 saw but you didn't see shit and you you not giving me a chance to even say if it's true that you just up here mad 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 he say shut the fuck up and listen she said van don't cuss at me don't cuss. You know what? Just go. He leaving. He is so mad. He kicked the car. I don't know who car it was. He kicked someone's car. Jen came off that porch and said, Oh, you want to give him a show, huh? That's what you want to do? You want to give him a show? She said, You looking for the Big Bang? I said, Lord, you looking for the Big Bang? Bitch, what is going What's the Big Bang? What's going on? She, look, she said, I'm not that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a bitch. I'm like, I was, cause the, she, I mean, look, we thought Van was abusing her. No, she beat Van's ass. Van be acting mad and upset because he is an abused spouse. Okay, I'm saying, Jen be beating that ass. You can't tell me no different. I'm like, bitch, she was. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying, I'm the real gorilla, bitch. I say she the real gorilla, gorilla Magilla. What's going on? I'm like, Lord. She said, take that shirt off. You played yourself. You a clown. You goofy ass. You, you dirty ass bitch. She was going absolute. When she said, I'm the real gorilla bitch. Take that shirt off. You don't deserve to wear that shirt. I said, Jen, be beating his ass. Okay. They don't. They have fights. Okay. And you can tell he did not want to. I'm like, they be fighting. You, it's just something. I'm like, they be fighting. Cause she was in his face like you know you you want some and i'm like usually he probably say something back you know what i'm saying she beat him up you know what i'm saying she i turned him a little bit or whatever he go run in his corner and then he be giving to get out his frustrations he be flipping tables over at work okay he'd be punching holes and walls or whatever because he's upset because at home he's a battered woman okay let's just say that and you know <laughs> she can't be beating van's ass i can't get over that anyway what I do know, though, is that Nikki likes Jen. Because Jen weaves, bitch. Jen's hair in that confession, bitch, was laid. Okay? she, Which means <laughs> she clearly, Nikki clearly likes Jen. She does not like Ashley because Ashley wigs be looking horrible, bitch. Oh, Lord Jesus. Anyway. Um, so at that point we see Van pull off in his car. He do knock like, like a camera crew, like a camera down, which I'm like, you fucking child, the camera. Well, I guess because he couldn't hit Jen, and Jen couldn't hit him. Cause at one point you see security kind of pulled them back. But I'm thinking, excuse me, he probably was was telling the camera crew to put the camera down, and they didn't. You, you filming a show, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You 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 filming a show where your girlfriend telling you that I'm the real gorilla, bitch. Take the shirt off, okay? I'm saying you don't want it with me. I'm saying you want some of this. You want some of this is what I imagine her saying to him with the cameras rolling and he was getting very, very embarrassed. 
and then he pulled off and he left. Um, <laughs> so the next thing that we see is it is Mother's Day, and Ryan and Rachel are celebrating with their whole family. They're, both families are together. We see Ryan's parents are there. We see Rachel's parents are there. So, of course, it seemed like it's this Mother's Day brunch, dinner, barbecue, whatever. All of our family is here. And then, you know, we see his mom saying, like, you should propose to Rachel. I mean, to be proposed to Rachel. You hear him asking her father. And I'm saying, I need to, like, do something special. Like, is it okay if I do something special? So, it, it did seem like he was going to propose. That is what it made it seem like. I saw him post, I believe, on Instagram saying, y'all worried about me proposing or a ring. Something, like, something about y'all worried about my ring. I don't, well, for me, as a fan of the show. I was like, I can't believe blah, blah, blah. it looked as if he was about to propose. Let's just say that. Um, but he go outside, he's talking to her, whatever. And they talking. He said how much he loves her, how much he appreciates her, how much they're on a path and they know they are putting certain things on hold. You know, they know they're not getting married or engaged right now because they're still working on things where they're still a committed couple. And they hope they exchange all, you know, I love you, I love you too. He says, and I think this is why, you know what I'm saying, you deserve a gift. And so her, all the people come out of the house, her family, his family, all of them come outside. So it do look like, oh my God, he finna propose because he said, I, it did look like that. However, the gift was a car, okay? He had someone pull up in a brand new Mercedes Benz, okay? This is my thing, bitch. Look, when we good and we are in a relationship and I ain't tripping about us not being married and I ain't tripping about us not being engaged yet, yes, give me gifts, bitch. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Give me all the gifts. He got her a nice ass Benz and she was ecstatic. I mean, she really, really was. And, you know, he says how this is what she wanted for Mother's Day, she wanted a new car. She she needed a new car. I got her what she wanted, and again, they're waiting to get married. And this is the gift that she actually wanted. And she was crying. She was happy. You can tell she was not disappointed or whatever. She got what she. Oh my God! On Mother's Day, this is perfect. She was happy. So again, if she's happy, we should give zero fucks about if he gonna propose. He will propose when he's ready to. And then you know we do see how they later on went on like a little day date. And in the car, of course. And they was going to get the car to do a little picnic. It was too cold. You know, Chicago weather, even sometimes Michigan weather, it can be 80 degrees at 8 a.m. And then by like 10.30 a.m., it's 50 degrees. It, it can make you hot or cold. So they could not get the car. It was too cold. So they were sitting in the car talking or whatever. Just about how they, um, them get engaged, how they are aware that, you know what I'm saying, they not for do it right now. Um, she said out of her own mouth, I was happier. She said, if I had to choose between not getting a car and going home in my old car and having a ring on my finger, but versus being with you still and being committed to you still, but driving home in a brand new Benz, I'm happy. I'm, I want the Benz. I want it. It's the car I wanted. It's what I wanted. So I like how they are reiterating that it isn't about, you know, we have to get engaged right now when we know we're committed. He gonna propose eventually, and it is. And even if he, he, and even if he doesn't, that doesn't negate the fact that as he said, you know, what I'm saying you deserve the best, and I love you. I love it. I can't do no wrong. Anyway, Charmaine Mama come to visit, and thank God she did. Okay, Charmaine came and told her mama what she had been doing at the damn shop, and her mama let her ass have it. Her mama was a true mother, and was honest to the T about the bullshit that she had been doing. She said, Charmaine. I hope you have life that's could you could you drown a girl? Meaning you up here being mean and rude, you know, doing dumb things. She act like, you know, well, did you talk to them before you went and got an LLC? She's like, Well no, I didn't I, I didn't and she said, I taught you to be more than just like mean and nasty or whatever. You you know, you should have talked it should have been a group discussion about what your idea was for you to go and do it behind their backs. You did as wrong. Um and she said you she said she said you are bossy and you're gonna run people away. She then said Charmaine, it's a tattoo shop. They do tattoos. They're talented. You're not. You can't do tattoos. You need them. They don't need you. Um, and she said also they have way more experience in the business than you. Charmaine rethought her little little bit of time at Groupon. You know, prepared her 
to run a tattoo shop. Bitch, no. It did not. Not at all. And I know, because I do follow her on Instagram. I have not stopped following her yet, even though she's on my goddamn nerves sometimes. She is very... She's changed from, from the little hot thought pocket she was on season one. I can say that. She has evolved. Um, that's why I feel like on the show, she's been a bitch for the show. Okay. Um, and she's trying to elongate her career past being on this show. Past she's been on the little radio show for two days on the weekend or whatever. She's trying to do more than that, which is great. But on the show, bitch. On the show. You're a bossy bitch. You get on my goddamn nerves. Um, but again, her mama let her know, like, you know, you need to go and apologize to me because, again, you were dead ass wrong. And she said, you know, maybe I need to apologize. Yes, the fuck you do. Anyway, Jen, Jen and Nikki hanging out in the goddamn dynamic duo. And Nikki's like, you know what? Where are we going? Jen says, we're going to ride past Van's house to see if he's home. I said, oh, drive by, bitches. So they drive by. He ain't there. They can get into it. They can get in though. So they literally break into Van's apartment. They break in through the back door, bitch. Jen pried the window open, climbed in the window because she knew he was not there because his car was gone, and then let Nikki in through the door. Because Nikki said, "Bitch, I'm not climbing that, that dusty ass window." The window was dusty and dirty. Um, so they in the house, and she said how he would not return her phone calls since the whole. She t- first of all, I would not answer call either. If you call, if you told me that you were there with the gorilla and I don't deserve my shirt, <laughs> I would. But like, you know what? I don't. I don't want to talk to you right now. Anyway, so they in the house. She's like, because he, oh, he won't talk to me. He can't answer my phone calls. All right, cool. She went and packed like two suitcases full of van stuff. She took the niggas clothes. <laughs> she took his clothes. She took van's clothes. Then went in the kitchen and wrote Jen and Van forever and i'm like with ketchup bitch oh jesus so they climbed out the back door you know van came home to the front door of course and when he walked in the house he just saw the ketchup stuff he's like this bitch is crazy she is anyone who puts your name and they your name and they name and ketchup on your kitchen counter is bad shit crazy he walked in like what the hell she crazy girl that day that crazy bitch out there and then she was anyway you know, back at you know, these hoes ain't loyal, Inc. Um, Lily and Reese is still protesting outside. They know got a whole huge ass wicked witch of the east, west, and the north, and all in green with ugly nose, blown up outside of of loyal. Uh, you know, ain't anybody loyal, Inc. And um, they're you know protesting whatever. I'm like, this shit is kind of crazy. So we then see Charmaine come to the place, and. She, I can't believe these hoes will do. Uh, I can't believe they're doing this. But you push them to do it. Like the fact that she don't understand why they're doing it to me means she's stupid. You know, she was saying I'm coming to apologize, but you can't come to apologize and be mad. And when you get there, that the people you pissed off is still pissed off. You have not apologized yet. Well, I'm here now and because they're being dumb. I'm gonna take back my apology. You haven't apologized yet, girl. You're stupid. Anyway, um. You hear Lily in my sad shit. You know, no, no, whatever. A little chance or whatever. Charmaine then says, I'm going to call the police because they just been like, I said, bitch, if you don't. Put... Dog, four got up so quick and knocked that phone on her hand. Like, you going to do what? You don't call the goddamn police? You don't. You do not call the police on black people when they're not black. They mix. they Mexican and the girls. But you don't call the police on people because they could kill you. Okay, you just don't do that. Shireen is just stupid or whatever. I guess at this point she's 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 striking Sally because she's striking all over the place. Um, we do see Forrest say, you know what I'm saying? You need to fix it and you gotta fix it without involving the police. At this point in time, we see um Shireen like, you know what? I think we need to all get on the same accord and I think maybe we should have a grand opening for these hoes ain't loyal ink. And people like they don't care. They don't care because again, no one cares about Charmaine right now. So outside, we see a car pull up, and we see it's Cobra. Cobra's back. Cobra, like yeah. When the shop shut down, I went back to Texas. I did some work, but I heard Lily call me. Said the top, the shop back open, and I pull up. They are here protesting. So Lily tells her what's been going on and Charmaine's new rules. How Charmaine did this and this and this, and that you know, since she wants them to, um 
pay them, you know, pay the the fifty pay the, the dumbass rules. So Carl like, well, that's some bullshit. Like you told me that I was open, I came back, but if those are the rules, I ain't staying. So um, when she go in, it's like, hey, so Charmaine is happy to see Cobra, which is funny because in the fact that her and Cobra used to always be beefing, where she and Danielle used to be fucking with Cobra all the damn time. Now all of a sudden you so happy, but she still was happy because, oh yeah, Cobra is a good tattoo artist. That's more money in my pocket again. What Lily said was true. Charmaine is using us to work. She's just trying to profit off our work and she does not bring any money into the business. And it's true. Charmaine is not, she doesn't bring any money in at all. You can't then say you want them to pay more money when you not paying shit. Nothing. Not a zilch. Zero. Girl the fuck back. So from there, um, Cobra going, Cobra, Cobra going in, and she like, um, yeah, hey, what's up? So, what's up with the rules? Because if those are the rules, I ain't think, like, what are you talking about? Well, Lily said, you know, this, this, and this. But she literally said what Charmaine did. She ain't lie. She ain't ass shit. She is trying to use us to get money off what we do. That's the truth. That is what she's trying to do. Even if she admits it or not, that is what is happening. At this point in time, Charmaine want to get big, bold, and bad. I say, bitch, go sit down somewhere. Go sit down somewhere. Go sit down some goddamn nowhere. She go outside. And I say, this is the reason Charmaine keeps getting punched in the eye. Because she be doing some bullshit all the time. And then she want to call a foul. She literally went outside. Yeah, bitch, what's up? Anytime anybody say, yeah, bitch, what's up? That means you want to fight me. Okay? You want to fight me, bitch? You want to fight me? It's going down. That is why Charmaine gets popped because she can't control her goddamn mouth. So she outside and um, yeah, bitch, what's up? Not your fist, Charmaine. Your fist ain't up, girl. You're stupid. Oh, uh, anyway, we see her trying to like stab or punch puncture the balloon, which she wants to kind of argue with Lily in them or whatever. But when she goes to try to stab the balloon thing, Lily comes from behind and like kind of just shoop. And I'm like, Charmaine, keep getting her ass whipped. Getting popped in the face. Getting just basically tackled right now. But again, Charmaine keep putting herself in positions where you know Lily going to react and try to beat your ass. So why keep even testing her? At this point in time, it's like a little bit of a fight. But it's a fight. Van on the porch looking. He like, I ain't going over there. You see Four and Don trying to break it up. Because the damn the witch thing is falling down on them so you can't even see them it was a bit of a melee and then you know cheating as dying like you know this is crazy we keep having the same argument over and over we just agree disagree and cause right now we look foolish no what's foolish is you keep cheating them keep cheating your damn wife that's foolish and that's how the episode went off with them and so they need to fix stuff or whatever the previews for the rest of the season bitch Look, I just wonder what happened in Jamaica. And, you know, even Ford was on Instagram today, too. I'll be watching on Instagram. And even he said they're still sh they're still shooting season four. So things, like, things are still unfolding. Okay, we did. Because we saw, I, I, follow, I follow Ryan. I follow Don. Charmaine. Four. And Nikki. I do follow them on social media. So I kind of see what's going on from that stuff. So I did see how they were all in Jamaica so we know they went to Jamaica a couple weeks ago a couple maybe a month ago they went to Jamaica so they were still for me then they're still for, still for me now so we have a while to get to the end of the season um so I cannot wait to see what happened in Jamaica because I can I paused it and I saw when Junior was saying you know I'm saying oh yeah these hoes ain't loyal ink and was pouring out beer or whatever I think it was Lily who ran up trying to swing on Junior bitch and do your girlfriend cold cocked Lily. Lily, sit your ass down, so girl. Sit your ass down. Okay, you got we met your goddamn match. So I can't wait to see that episode ever, 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 ever. Anyway, it's 4 17. Okay, I have to go to bed. So go to work in the morning. And I hope you guys enjoy my review. Put your comments below. If I did not say a code yet, put in either Seagram's Smirnoff, Shveka, or, uh, um, what's that dude? What's, what's 50 Cent's, uh, thing? This is 
effing. Don't put who fucking effing or it's the rock. Do one of them, okay? I can't remember if I put a code in, but put one of those in the comment sections or whatever, and I'm out. Peace.